Dennis likes to start his morning off with a little bit of coffee, butter in there, get a little froth going. I like to start my mornings off with a big glass of Organifi green juice. Organifi is an amazing superfoods company that gives supplements, giving you all of your daily minerals, antioxidants, and nutrients. And I like to start my morning with their green blend, which is a mix of 11 different superfoods, and it tastes incredible. I always just feel so good knowing I'm starting my day with all of the things that my body needs to thrive. And because we're on a boat, of course I had to come out to the dock to enjoy my green juice. Normally we purchase their containers for all of their products, but when we're traveling we make sure to load up on their travel packs, which are just so convenient. They don't take up a ton of space in our bag, and we make sure that we're getting all of the nutrients our body needs on the road. They also have a red juice blend that I love to do as a pick-me-up throughout the day. It's no caffeine added, but it gives you that super boost that you need to kind of get that second wave of energy. And I also really love to chill out in the evenings using their gold blend, which has ashwagandha. It's like really helps relax. I, I really enjoy it. It's like my, my nighttime tea. So if you're interested in trying any of their amazing products, we do have a special discount code getting you 20% off if you use ESRV and the special link in the description of this video. But we need to kind of wrap this up because our plans have changed dramatically. As we've learned in boat life, you have to kind of take everything day by day. The guy we were just talking to, he usually does crossings and they usually wait till June because of the weather. They just had a captain that came back from Nassau. He yeah. left last week and they were around eight to 10 foot waves. And our boat could probably handle it, but we can't handle it and our dogs can't handle yeah, it. And man. then once you're out in the middle of the ocean, you don't know what you're gonna encounter. There's no way to like 100% be accurate. So and it's just, it's not happening this season. So I think the, the weirdest part with, that we've had to get used to from uh, like when we go from say an RV to our boat is we can plan everything we want. Obviously how many times have you guys booked your tickets and we keep changing them or we're going to try this or try that in the weather like if you look outside it's 80 and sunny and you'd be like it's beautiful out but the yeah. waves and when you're going through the water you just you can't you know you can maybe predict they usually are good maybe three or four days in advance so we've nixed that plan and we're just starting fresh we're going with the flow and I think the plan is to cruise the ICW, the Intercoastal Waterway, part of it. Obviously, it's a really long route that involves way more than we could do in the week that we're with them. But I think we're just going to head down towards South Miami if there's time, Key Largo, and the weather's in our favor. All right, cheers. Today, we are going underway. I think that's the boat term you use, but it means we're going from one spot to the other. We're in Fort Lauderdale right now, and we decided to head a little bit south to Miami. We're gonna be staying at the Hard Rock Marina, which is kind of just outside of South Beach, so it'll be a fun way to explore the city. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's like to travel on a boat, like to actually go on a voyage. Broad Causeway, Broad Causeway, this is Half Shell, traveling southbound, waiting for the next opening. <laughs> I did it! Woo! So right now we are getting everything right and tight around the ship. We have put everything on the countertops that could potentially fall off away, including everything in the bathroom. Yeah, we filled up water. I think we're gonna do the slack lines. There you go, you got ah, it. This should be a fun day. What are you doing with the taps? I'm driving the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we are underway, they have like a beautiful system that allows you to put it on autopilot and just cruise and enjoy it from wherever. They have like a tablet. They can control all of the steering from the tablet. They also have this little remote, so you can do what you want. It's been really fun to, to cruise like this. We're not going too far. I wasn't sure how long it was gonna be, but I think it's like a, an hour drive without bridges. But Miami's on the horizon line, we are getting close. Yeah, we've made it to Miami for sure because there are mega yachts everywhere. And when I say mega yacht, I mean like six to seven stories tall, probably have like a hundred rooms, several hundred feet. There's a helicopter pad on one of them. It's insane. These are like people's private yachts. 
a lot of money down here in Miami. We fit right in, babe, don't we? Oh yeah. For sure. We bougie. We just, yeah, we bougie. We're on a yacht right now, so we <laughs> bougie. But we are running into a little bit of a hiccup. We've had to wait for bridges for the, you know, the short ones since they are a tall boat. And normally there's someone in operating the drawbridge, so it just goes up at certain times. But we just got to one, and there's no one in the drawbridge booth. And we can't fit under it, but it's where we need to go to get to our marina. So we're not quite sure what to do. I'm glad our captain and first mate are problem solving because um, we're pretty useless right now. I'm just like, I'll just lay here until someone tells me what to do. to the marina but boy was that like an anxiety trip coming in and parking this boat in these tight marinas i don't know how mike does it and other captains it's incredible you have to consider the tides and it's like so narrow there's like mega million multi-million dollar yachts all around so you just ding I, I my anxiety level right now is through the roof and i didn't even have to do anything so uh, yeah, I'm ready for like a cocktail or something after this. And we, we're not quite sure this is our slips. We may have to do it all over again, which I'm not really looking forward to, but <laughs> it's definitely worse on them. <sighs> but we are in like the heart of Miami. Like we were right next to the Hard Rock Hotel. There's like a Ferris wheel going on. We're close to South Beach. This is a great spot for kicking off and exploring Miami, which we plan to do. So that's nice. Nearly half of South Florida's 5.3 million residents come from outside of the United States, Cuba being the largest country of origin. In 2019, it was estimated that 700,000 residents in Miami were Cuban-born. U.S. immigration laws passed in the early 1960s made it easy for refugees fleeing the Castro-controlled Cuba to make the move to Miami. The influence of the Cuban culture can be seen in everything from its architecture, food, and pastimes across the city. But Little Havana is where Cuban culture really shines. I think you have to get a Cuban sandwich when you come to Miami. This is like the birthplace of it. A lot of people think it came from Cuba, but no. It is a Miami thing. I'm not sure that we're getting the best Cuban sandwich because it it's like a very personal thing. I don't know that there is one best sandwich in all of the city, but Sandwich is where we're at today to give a Cuban sandwich go. We've very highly reviewed. It's in the little Havana neighborhood. Is it good? <laughs> I already just love the vibe here. You can hear like the Cuban music. It's so colorful in this area. It feels like we're almost another country. Sanguich was absolutely fantastic, incredible. We got the lechon and we got the traditional Cuban sandwich. Both were awesome. There's not a clear winner there. Just get both. Definitely recommend that if you're coming to the area. And now we're just gonna walking around Calle Ocho, which is like the main plaza in Little Havana. Super cute, there's so many different little shops, tons of fun murals. They have the Domino Park, which is a really famous little area. Obviously there's uh -huh. drinks to go. Good vibes all around. Every Saturday in the Wynwood neighborhood of Miami, they have something called Smorgasburg, which is like the largest open air food hall. There's pretty much just a ton of food vendors. You can pick and choose what you'd like. They have seating area all inside, and I am so excited to try all of the food. I think it's open from like 11 to 6 and today is plant-based day. So they have a lot of vegan options in addition to their normal delicious fare. Everything looks so good. It's going to be so hard to choose. Let's eat. Mao Bao's by far has the longest line. It is like literally to the other side. It's insane. So we were looking at how beautiful the buns are. We totally want some, but we're like, we, we can't wait an hour in that line. But they gave us one of the special vegan ones to try, which is sweet potato. So plump. The filling reminds me of like pumpkin pie. Oh wow. It's like sweet. That's sweet, huh? It's very good. It's not pumpkin pie. It's definitely sweet potato. That's really good. 
It is so fun to try all of the different foods. So cool, man. We're literally going from stall to stall. We're just splitting everything so that we don't get too full and we can get the most variety in all of the options. Everything we've had has been incredible. There's a chicken katsu sandwich, which is like a Japanese fried chicken. I think they put buffalo on it. Mm. <laughs> So good. Doesn't have Japanese flavors at all, but I think it might be my favorite so far. Mm. That should be in every culture everywhere. Fresh baguette, soft melted cheese, jamon, pickles, mustard. Over the past 20 years, the Wynwood neighborhood has completely transformed. After an investor known for gentrifying once plighted areas and turning them into hip art districts, started buying up land in the area to redevelop it. Today, Wynwood is one of the hottest neighborhoods in Miami, known for being an art hub with hundreds of murals scattered throughout the neighborhood. We could have walked forever. Every single corner we turned, there was a new building with another gorgeous painting on it. And it's so cool to see some of the artists at work. We passed several streets where people were just creating their own masterpieces on the wall. There's great restaurants, great bars. I really enjoyed the vibe here of this neighborhood. So add it to your Miami bucket list. But we are pretty pooped. We ate way too much food today, and we've done a lot of walking looking at all the artwork in the area. So I think we are gonna leave you here for the evening, and we will pick you up for some more fun tomorrow. We've had a relaxing day on the boat and we're just chilling. Now we decided to kind of finish the evening off. We're going to take the dinghy out and explore Miami by river. It's so beautiful in downtown Miami. We're like right on the water where everything is happening. It's awesome. Also last night, cruise ships came in. They're massive. Like we saw a boat that was pretty much the same size as we are, and it was not even at the first level of the cruise ship. So we're gonna kind of cruise by those too. So let's stop yakking and get the sea. Let's the go, ship. let's go, let's go, All let's right. go. I think I actually see it. We've loved exploring Miami, but the best days we've had have just been chilling around the boat. We just had a dance party out on the bow, and now we're just cooking some dinner. We're gonna watch Ted Lasso this evening. Just taking it slow and spending time with Mike and Amy has been the highlight of this trip. This boat is so livable, we feel right at home. It's gonna be a hard time going back to the RV. The confines of the RV. Yes, I'm like loving this space and it's just so fun to be out in the water. And you're probably watching some of these shots thinking we're like wasted this whole trip. I just want to mention we have barely drank. Dance parties do not require alcohol and good times do not need alcohol to have fun. And if you haven't had a dance party in a while, go dance. It feels great. It's hard to believe it, but a week has come and gone. It flew by. We had an absolute blast getting to explore, kind of get a taste of boat life. Thank you, Mike and Amy, for having us. We, we really enjoyed ourselves. We are officially back at the RV, and it is um, so nice to see the kitty cats. They were very, very excited to see us, but it's such a small space. <laughs> After all of that space on the boat, it is going to take some adjusting, and right now it is absolutely hectic in here. 
because we're already preparing for our next trip. In just a few days time, we are going to be getting back on a plane and heading somewhere international. Somewhere completely different from where we've just spent the last few days. The total opposite. Let me know if you can guess in the comments below. I think one person guessed in a previous video, but everyone else has guessed wrong so far. So we're really looking forward to sharing some amazing international content coming up with you soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Is that, is that your Organifi dance? Mm. Okay. Organifi, drink it. It's not time for me to go. <laughs> like, I die to yeah. You're not rolling. I am. They're just... It was a fail. <laughs> what was a fail? <laughs> Tried to squeeze the live and... Didn't work Nothing's out. Nothing's coming out. Might be hot. Uh-huh. Must be so hot. Uh-huh. Hot? Uh-huh. I don't know what it is. good? Here, I'm see, what you think? What you think? Poke a hole in them. You want a napkin to spit it back out? <laughs> Dude, you're not gonna be able to taste anything else now. Is your mouth burnt? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs>